Hey, this is Mike. Just have a nice Jeep Wrangler, 2014 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara on the lot. And uh, just got it in actually, it's not quite on the lot, but um, just wanted to show it to you. Now it is pollen season, so, and this vehicle hasn't been detailed yet, so you can have to excuse a little bit of pollen on it. But you can see it does have the fog lights here in the front. Alloy wheels. It has a little Jeep symbol on the wheels, which is cool. This one does have the monotone paint. All white, including the top and the fenders. The only thing that's not white is the step there on the side, which you pretty much don't want that painted. It does have four-wheel disc brakes. There's your spare tire. It does have a towing package. You can see a little Jeep on the spare tire as well. Let's take a look in here. Now the um, tailgate does swing out quite a bit, so you have to make sure you have room to swing it out all the way, so that way you can open up the glass here. But then once you get it open, you've got a pretty significant amount of space to put stuff in there as well as a large opening to put stuff in. A lot better than say a car or um, some other vehicles. And then those seats do fold down too. It does have the premium Alpine sound system. There's a subwoofer for it. And here's your back. Now this does have a cargo mat. Um, this uh, carpet on one side and a rubber on the other side. Depending on what you're carrying, you can choose what you want. Now this right here opens up. You got a little bit more cargo space that's out of sight. Under there is also your your um, your tools for your spare tire and stuff. But you have to put your glass down first. Then you can close your tailgate. Like so. Fuel cap is on the driver's side, which is very convenient. Give you an idea of what the you see it's a 2014 Wrangler Unlimited Sahara. I don't know if you can see with the sun glare, but just give you an idea of what the window sticker looks like. Here's the inside of the back door. This has a film over top of it, it's not actually blue. Just so gonna see that. Like I said, this vehicle just came in off the truck. There's your net pocket in the door. Window controls are not on the door, they're in the over here. You can see it has the um, floor mats in there matching. Nice brown leather seats on the inside. The seats do fold down like so. Which this seat has to be up, that seat's all the way back. And there is your window controls right here. Cup holders are there. You've got speakers up here in the in the top roll cage. You've got a light back there. It does have heated side mirrors. There's your trail rated badge right there. Now on the front door you see it does not have the window controls here either. It does have the door lock controls though. And the seat is uh, manually adjusted. You can go forward and backwards. You can go up and down with this. You can adjust the back of the seat there. But uh, the Wrangler does not have power seats at this time. So everything's manual on the seat adjustments. I'm gonna hop in. It does have adjustable steering. Not telescoping though, just tilting. All right, here's your steering wheel. You can see it's a leather wrapped steering wheel. It does have some good thickness, which makes it comfortable. On the right side here, we have the cruise control. On the back of the steering, we have the volume. So I can have my hand right here while I'm driving and adjust the volume up and down. I can adjust it on this side, um, the, the stations. I can go through the stations. Right now, it's on satellite radio. I'll go ahead and turn the volume back down. So you have your 
controls on the back now on the front you've got a lot of buttons on this side all that's your cruise control now this is kind of split the top part is your Bluetooth voice recognition system and then your Bluetooth for your phone somebody's calling you and your your phone's paired to the system you just push the button and say hello and you can start talking and you can hang up with the same button the buttons below here are for your menu system right there where it says southwest 65 degrees that's the outside temperature and the, the the direction the vehicle's facing which is your compass now I can push the menu button right here and keep pushing it and scroll through a menu system with the different options and different information tire pressure and such vehicle info and you goes back to that now let's say I'm in down in here doing something and I want to go back to the compass I just push this little compass button right here and it will always go back to the compass uh, I'm going which is kind of neat this digital speedometer which I like too but um, here's your gauges very easy to read now you do have uh, your windshield wiper controls there on this side you have your headlight controls and it does have automatic headlights this little pocket up here put some stuff now here's your Uconnect system it does have satellite radio it does have a hard drive in which you can add files using your CD or a DVD here or you can add files on this little USB port here to the hard drive you can add pictures or, or audio there's auxiliary input for an iPod stuff like that you can turn your volume up and down here you can also answer your phone here and um, it does have navigation like so so you can add an address and it'll take you to it stuff like that you can adjust your audio here and it does have a, almost a 30 gig hard drive 28 gigabytes is what it's showing so that's that there's your window controls here for all four windows it does have a articulating vent that you can close off it's easy to open up turn it the way you want um, really convenient right here is your climate controls it is an automatic climate control with uh, you can put it on auto you put this on auto and then you just set your temperature so I'm gonna set it right there and then we should be good to go right here is your side mirror adjustments it's like a little joystick this that these seats are heated here in the front with these buttons here traction control you can turn that off if you want downhill descent control um, that's more for off-road use it's not really for dry pavement for what I understand here is an AC adapter uh, outlet you can turn that on the actual outlet is here but there's the button to turn it on you do have power supply here net pocket pocket there there's your four-wheel drive controls there's your automatic shifter there's your um, your emergency brake now right below is a little like a little change pocket a little pocket over there next to my knee here's the cup holders and you can see it has like a little Jeep symbol in there here's your center console now the center console is lockable it does have a place to lock it so that way when your tops down and you you know driving around with no hard top and your door maybe your doors off or whatever you do have some level of securing your stuff now this does have two compartments one is the large pocket compartment with a power supply and a USB port for charging stuff and the other side there's two buttons here to show you how I'm doing that um, is your like a shallow pocket to put say a cell phone or something there's your glove compartment and uh, it is lockable like I was telling you before the rear view mirror will auto dim if somebody's behind you with their bright lights on visor has a mirror there same thing on the other side now the hard top is two separate pieces you can take the pe the these off sort of like t-tops in a way and leave the back on if you like so that way you can you know have something easy to take off if you want to you know take it off for a couple hours or whatever now one thing to consider with the hard top um, it's a little bit more involved taking the back por portion off versus like I say a soft top so you have to kind of consider um, you know weigh your options on whether you want to you know how often are you going to take your top off and drive around say in the summertime uh, with a hard top and you do have to have a place to store it now let's look underneath the hood the hood does not have any latch under here 
does have latches out here. It does have the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. Has plenty of power, almost 300 horsepower, and it's pretty decent on gas. Alright, so if you have any questions, my phone number and email address will be in the description, and I will see you next time.